Hey guys, I've really been wanting to film my spring setup for you because I'm so excited about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it a little bit early even though it's not quite spring, it is in my planner. So I have my Fur and You swag, which Velcros on to a traveler's notebook. I absolutely love these. It just feels like having a work of art on my planner. Um, and they're durable, they, I'm able to keep it on while I'm using the planner, no problem. Um, and this leather is the sage leather from Foxy Fix. It's in their spice line and it's a greenish gray color and I absolutely love it. Um, the reason I, one reason I picked it is because my dog is named Sage and I also have a clip of her, um, a custom made by the Wooly Planner, my friend Sandy. She's so talented. Um, but that, <laughs> I've had to have my sage clip on my sage planner, but um, my dog is really old and I've just been more worried about her lately and I don't know, just something about having a leather named after her just made me feel happy. Love my dog, I'm a huge dog person. So inside I wanted to feel like it's just blooming and flowers and plants everywhere and I'm so happy with it. So in here I have my ribbon and nib pocket. I keep one of these in every planner. Um, this one has die cuts and just some cute mini stickers that I want to have handy because I don't want to forget to use them. This is a good place to stash like shop samplers that you want to use, seasonal things, and die cuts. I usually like to switch them out of here, except I love this bouquet of flowers in it. It's so cute in there. This is from Planner Swag Boutique. And then this is a journaling card from Peach Palm. This is my daily insert, which I actually have in the strings part. Forgot to mention that I added rings to this planner. Um, it is a traveler's notebook, not a ring planner, but I purchased A6 size rings from Salty Katie Co. And I put them in there because um, I just plan better in rings and I prefer them because they lay flat. And when I'm reading from them and typing on my computer, especially like my work section. I just like to have rings. I like being able to take things in and out. But my daily pages are like, I don't know, they just feel special to me. They're something I do every day. I love them. Um, and I like being able to look back through them in a traveler's notebook format. So I like to have these in a string and everything else in a ring pretty much. So <laughs> it's taken me so much trial and error to figure that out too. Um, I also love Aura Estelle planners because they're made like this, where you have both, um, and I do, I have been using that most of this year so far, and I will be back in one of those after my spring setup. I have a black one coming, which will be fun to do a black and white thing. So anyway, my dashboard here, this is foiled vellum from Brooklyn Grace, and this is ribbon and nib vellum called Boho Babe. Um, this is a whole set and you'll see it throughout the planner. It's just so beautiful together. I love it together. And then under that I have um, a piece of writing that I personally love that I printed myself on vellum and put in here. Just something I like to have in my planner. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. It's just a yearly overview and I used it to mark holidays, recycling um, days because I tend to forget those and my friends' birthdays, like close friends and families. This has been a lifesaver too. I have a monthly, this covers from Annie Plans, and this monthly view is from Printable Kate, and here's March. Um, I don't really feel like I have to have a monthly view, but I did add one for March just because we have a lot of birthdays and I didn't want to miss anything. <laughs> um, I hadn't decorated all my weeklies, so um, I just wanted something where I could plan ahead. This is, oh, this is from Bunny Plans, and this is from Creatively Planned. This is my little coffee moment here. This is, I just have a little picture of my kids, and some more die cuts and goodies in there. This is from May Paper Co. This is from Ribbon and Nib, more of that bo um, boho babe vellum. And then my weekly insert is from Printable Kate, and I love, love, love this insert. These are my past weeks using it. I basically decorate the bottom portion. I get my to-dos for the week for work and home. And then every morning when I'm having my coffee and my kids are playing, I just write my list for the day. 
it's just sort of like an initial here's all the little things I got to do that day and then major events I'll put in a box or something so I have two plan with me's on my channel right now in this one is in this insert and one's in the same one without the checklist but I have found that I really prefer the checklist so I'm really liking that. In my daily pages, I like to have more room for stuff for my kids' naps and little things like that. It's more detailed, but this is just my initial, I can flip to it, I can leave it open on my desk throughout the day. It's just perfect. Um, I feel like if I didn't use this insert, I wouldn't feel very organized right now. <laughs> so this is this week. I have sort of a greenery plant theme going for St. Patrick's Day week. And so I have this the whole month in there. Okay, my first section after the calendar here is just a general notes area. I have some vellum here from Bunny Plans. And this insert is from Cloth and Paper and it's just a beauty routine insert. And right now I have written down the stuff I'm currently using. Um, recently I got a makeover <laughs> at Sephora. I wanted to learn a little bit about skincare and stuff like that, so um, I wanted. I have a lot of notes of things that I want to try and things that I liked or didn't like, so that's what that's for. And then this is just a notepad that I punched and put into the planner because it was cute and it fit really well. I have a list here of wines that I've liked recently. Um, one something I aspire to one day is to be able to know my wine, so <laughs> that is something I st have started writing down. And then these are teas that I want to try. I have a cycle tracker in here. never tracked that before, but um, I feel like I've struggled more and more with PMS symptoms after I had kids. Um, so for me, it's really helpful to be able to just see when it's coming. <laughs> This is a workout insert from Peanuts Planner Co. And I just like how simple it is. You just write down what you wanna do and then um, some notes on the side. So that's all I need right now as far as workouts. And then this is a wardrobe insert, a capsule wardrobe insert from Cloth and & Paper. And this is just something I did for spring. Um, I had just gotten this new black dress that I love and I wanted to sort of build some things around it. Um, since it made me feel good, I wanted to think about what else would go with it and what else would give me that same feeling. So that's what this is all about. A bag, um, I wanted to replace some denim. So I like that it has things that you want to add and then your color palette. It's just cute and it was a fun little exercise. Then she has an inventory sheet over here, which I have not completed yet. My dividers are from Dividers R Us. If you convert a traveler's notebook to rings, one thing is you have to use top tab dividers or else they stick out past the edge of the notebook. So that is something to get used to. Um, and I thought it would take me longer to adjust to it, but I'm already, already there. No problem for me personally. This is Boss Babe Vellum from Ribbon and Nib. Super cute, one of my favorite sets that she has. And then this section is for my work, so I can't show anything in here. Um, I'll show you the inserts that I use. They're from Peanuts Planner Co. And they're just basically boxes. I use these for several different things, but one thing is contacts, account numbers, passwords, things that I need to look up quickly when I have a problem with our property um, that I need to look at. All of our tenant info goes here also so I know I can contact them quickly. And then I have more of the Boss Babe vellum. And then this is one of my favorite little spots. This is vellum from Bunny Plants, a girl at her desk. And then this from Rose Color Days. It says invest in yourself. My social section is social media and my friends. So I have this fun little vellum from Bunny Plants. This is um, a New Year's vellum but I thought it was just cute for friends and I will be at the planner conference go wild in Las Vegas in May so this was that was also on my mind when I bought this that's gonna be me at the conference I hope <laughs> this marble is from ribbon and nib and I layered it because I think it looks cute together like almost like there's streamers coming down and this covers from Annie plans 
This section is my orders. Oh my gosh, so many orders <laughs> for the whole, for the year. Um, and this little, this is everything, like Amazon, clothes, all that. And this is from My Little Puffy. I laminated it and punched holes so it could be a little bookmark. This is from the planner spot. And the insert that I use for this is from Printable Kate. And then this one is a 52 week grid. This was in my previous setup if you watched that video. Um, I just plan out my kits for the whole year. Well, I mean, I haven't planned out the second half, but I can. So this keeps me from over buying kits and just knowing exactly what I'm buying it for um, when I decide to get one. And I have I like that it has two lines because I put one kit for my Erin Condren and one for my A6 for this planner. This mail to send is a really great insert. I use it for gifts, like I have a lot of birthdays in my family coming up, um, gift ideas, just even if they don't have something coming up and I see something, I write it down so I don't forget. Um, giveaway ideas for social media, um, PR thank yous that I want to send out thank you cards, um, anything like that, pen pals. And then I also have a section back here that has um, like private information that I can't show, but I do wanna show you the insert because it's so cute. This is from Van Sticky, and it's a collaboration with Annie Plans, so it's a printable. And she has this really cute stationary theme, and I use this for shop owners that I work with. I keep their info there and the requirements for my terms so I don't forget. I also use this tracker weekly insert for social media. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. And this is another die cut from My Little Puffy that I laminated to make a bookmark. So it looks cute with the little guy peeking over. <laughs> I just like that. And then last is my home section. And this has a bunch of little subsections here. Well, a few. This is more of that boho babe vellum just all throughout my planner and then this is from creatively planned it's a cute little mom life um, journaling card or dashboard whichever thing you want to call it um, I call them journaling cards I guess um, and I like that she has like day shift and night shift it's just cute and then I like to put a sticky note on the back of my journaling cards just so it's not just blank space and if I need to make a quick note for that section I can just do it right there Makes it easy. Another Annie Plans cover. This is just a little daily habits for moms that I've found very helpful. Um, I kept this in my planner when I had a newborn and I found that it, glancing at it really helped me. And then this is a daily routine checklist from Prints Come True, which is a printable. I printed it in A5 and then sized it down, I think it was 72%. I'll put the exact dimensions um, in the description because I got it from Daxina who has an awesome YouTube channel. I will link her below too. That was her idea and she was using this. Um, but it's basically a morning, afternoon, evening, and night routine and you can just list out your day and then I color coded it because I wanted to see where most of my time was going. So I kept up with it and then I would fall off on the weekends and then I realized I didn't really need it after a few weeks. Um, but this is one of those things I feel like I probably need to do once a month or so and just kind of make sure where our routines are working, first of all. And then if something is not working, what I can do to fix that. So um, I would like to pick that back up so I haven't taken it out. I'm very quick to take things out of my planner if they don't work. Just bye-bye. <laughs> Um, this is from Polywog Plans. Love this. It's just a cute little confetti dashboard and it makes this little area here really fun. So this is from the Planner Society and this is more ribbon and nib. And then here I have my cleaning tracker from Creatively Planned and it's a two page thing. Um, I just have this in the middle so I can find it easily. This is that jelly material from Caden's Mom Shops. Love this. Um, this cleaning tracker is awesome and I use it, I put, I track my kids' diapers on here also and did I cook dinner, did, we, did they have baths? 
things like that too. Um, and then I have some of my work tasks over here because she has daily, weekly, monthly, and then I love that she has, if there's time, can I get to that? Didn't get to this, so you can go ahead and add it to the next month. So that's been a really helpful insert, I love it. This note section is about my house. So I have things that, <laughs> I noticed I kept like losing track of where I would put stuff, so I just made this little quick insert here for myself with a grid. Um, just where stuff is like I'm keeping the light bulbs here. I have to move stuff a lot because I have toddlers that get into things so um, If they end up being able to reach something I have to move it. coffee break And then here I have this insert. It's from the planner society and Annie plans collab and I have one page for each room in the house and each area in the house so on one side, I list things that I need to purchase for that area. And then on the other side, I have stuff that I need to do <laughs> or clean. And then I just use washi to kind of depict the colors that I want to have or do have in that area. Um, and that's been really helpful. So let me just show you like my office area. There's a lot of books and office stuff so this was cute this is from the primrose corner and this is from michael's uh, my boys let's see where are they my boys rooms i have like a nautical theme in one and then night night go to bed theme in the babies <laughs> wishful thinking this is just a pocket from polywog plans a clear pocket and um this is from Planner Swag Boutique. It's so pretty. Same place where I got the flowers. And this is from Grumpy Bear. Just have a little note, some notes to myself there. This is from Planner Press. Ribbon and nib journaling card. And here I have this insert from um, Peanuts Planner Co. And I just put the stuff that we do once a month or less. So changing things out, changing toothbrushes, shower curtain liners, drip pans, filters, um, changing my online passwords, changing my credit card has been the best insert for that. And then I use it also for our monthly bills, just a simple checklist where I can check it off. Um, I don't need to write the amounts and stuff because I do that in a Excel spreadsheet. So next is my meal plan, which I absolutely love. This is from Printable Kate and it's pretty new in her shop. Um, Shoot, I wish I had one that was all filled out for you because I haven't quite finished March, but oh well. Um, I put breakfast and lunch ideas here and then here. Um, last month in February, I listed the lunches that I'm gonna try from Home Chef. And I used these stickers from Cheerful Planner Girl, these little minis to mark Home Chef meals, which is a delivery, a delivery service where they send me the ingredients and the recipe and then it's kind of teaching me how to cook. Um, I'm not really a great cook, so I need a little help. <laughs> I've found Home Chef to be my favorite more than um, some of the other ones. And then I have these from the Planning Butler. I always eat out on Sundays. So that's just, this helps me to do a whole month at a time. She also has a weekly version. And then I haven't sat down and finished this month out. I just added um, some meals that I knew for sure I wanted to do. I need to go back through because what I also do when I sit down to meal plan, I add all the stuff from those recipes to my grocery list. And I keep my recipes, most of them, back here in a recipe bank because that way I don't have to get up and get out my recipe book. Um, I just have all the info right here, what I would need to add to my grocery list. So that's been really helpful and I also keep some of these in my on the go wallet planner because um, sometimes I'm in the store and I didn't do a meal plan so it's just nice to have. It's nice to have it all in sticky notes. And then the back here I have this from Kubo and Lucy and then these charms are from the Opal Wild. They're really beautiful. I like having jewelry on my planner. <laughs> Um, this is an Aura Estelle pen. It's really pretty. Writes very well. I like the way it writes. And then I just have paper from Hobby Lobby in there. Well, 
And then this is from Creatively Planned and just, again, some shop samplers that I want to use. And this beautiful planner scarf is from Lane and Alley Boutique. I love it. I probably could put another TN insert back here, but I don't really feel the need. Um, and then this design of the Foxy Fix has this big pocket back here, which I haven't had to use yet, but um, I will. I just moved into this plan. Thank you so much for watching this whole setup. Um, if you have any questions or anything is from, just feel free to ask in the comments.